The European Commission, through the Innovative Medicines Initiative, wants to revolutionize drug research by providing highly skilled medicines stakeholders. For the first time in the history of pharmaceutical research, big companies are working with universities, patients and regulators to share their knowledge and expertise for a common education and training objective. U2P is the first European public-private education and training initiative to improve the benefit and risk of medicines. Seven universities, the European and French medicines agencies and 15 pharmaceutical companies have put their strengths together to meet the job market needs for healthcare professionals, students and non-specialists. U2P offers valuable diplomas, one master, one PhD and certificates jointly awarded by all public and private partners. Emphasis is put on hands-on training to maximize post-training employment opportunities. By joining U2P, all stakeholders choose e-learning to learn with experts in pharmacovigilance and pharmacoepidemiology at any time, any place. Well, the, the program is built up from uh, several uh, modules and several specialization tracks. And uh, from the seven universities that are involved, that each university is responsible for a certain specialization track. And uh, the master is of, uh, of two years, and you can um, do several modules. So each module consists of, of several courses. The courses are, of course, totally based on e-learning, but we are trying to make it as interactive as possible at a distance. So this means that um, trainees will have to watch lectures, as you also have in regular courses, but, um, but also, for instance, live sessions. So you have a really live classroom in which trainees can talk to each other, can talk to the teachers, and uh, you can also do group assignments online. The, the, the great advantage and, and, and uh, one of the main reasons why I chose this was the e-learning aspect. Um, there are other universities and other courses which do offer similar courses, um, but they were more face-to-face. -face, um, and um, uh, balancing your life and your work and going back to uh, university or school, um, trying to balance all of that was very important. So I have a job, it's very busy, uh, it's not only 9 to 5, it can be 9 to 7, 8, and then weekends as well at times, depending on your deliverables and when those deadlines are. I also have a family, I've got two young kids. So being able to balance all of that and, and really trying to do something else was going to be a challenge. So the, really, uh, the, the main aspect uh, was the e-learning and the fact that it could be virtual, I could go back to any lectures, I could really have the interaction with my tutors uh, on an e-platform um, and do it in my own time. So that flexibility was really, really important. Uh, yeah, it is important because it allows me to stay in my country and then studying because if, if you compare the price I will pay if I, had to, if I had to leave Haiti and then to come to France and to stay there and spending, so the cost gonna be, will be overwhelming for me. But now it allows me to stay in my country and then keeping doing my, my daily activities and then studying at the same time. I think, I think this, is the, this is a great innovation and I think this is maybe the way education going, is going to be in the future. My work was very, very supportive. Um, and um, my managers and even senior managers are very supportive. Um, the proof would have to come through them. Um, and uh, they realize that the benefit of someone going back to university, going back to school and, and developing themselves further, uh, not only benefit to that person, but also benefit to the company as well. So academically, um, even though I do have a higher education, I've got a PhD as well, um, I really thought that this was a really great way of advancing uh, my thought process, my experiences, and also really uh, my career as well by going back to uh, do, doing a master's as well. I think that uh, that's one of the main advantages that you are kind of building an international expert community uh, all over the world instead of just this 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 part of uh, of Europe or this part of uh, of a country only. And now you uh, you are building up um, a community of people that have different backgrounds, different cultures, different um, countries, and they all want to learn about the same thing and the same subject. But they will have another opinion or just another view on the on the subject matter. And I think that's uh, yeah that's a big advantage.